Volta River Authority says a substantial amount of compensation claims during the construction of the Volta Lake Basin have been completed. An act incorporates a state manager at the VRA, Emmanuel Tetemati, who appeared before the judgment debt commission said during the process 80,000 people were compensated, out of which 52 resettlement sites were created. He indicated that further claims on the flooded areas during the construction of the basin are to be directed to the Lands Commission. The decision to develop the Volta Lake Basin started in 1952. An assessment conducted indicated that most communities would be affected due to flooding between 1963 and 1965. This led to the provision of allowances by the VRA. Communities affected included Apaso, Kitekrachi, Makango, Pai and Ahamandi. The VRA, which was the implementation agency, identified 80,000 beneficiaries, which resulted in the creation of 52 resettlement sites. The act incorporated a state manager of VRA, Mr. Emmanuel Tetemate, said cash were paid to those who had their farmlands and crops destroyed, but property belonging to the state or the community, such as schools and markets, were reinstated. The VRA and State Lands Act of 1961 and 1962 were used to acquire the resettlement sites, Mr. Mate indicated that the VRA officially ended compensation payment in 1971. Therefore, any outstanding claims should be directed to the Lands Commission. At the time VRA did acquisition, it was optional. It was at the discretion of the state to provide the resettlement houses. But today, if you are doing such an acquisition and a community is affected, then necessarily the state must do a uh, replacement scheme to relocate all those who are going to be affected. The chairman of the Lands Commission, Alhaji Bakari Sadiq Nyari, told the commission that there are still multiple claimants on the affected land. He said many of the areas are conflict-free, but about half of the claimants find themselves in conflict areas, thus making compensation difficult. The sole commissioner, Justice Yawapil, wanted the Land Commission to explain how compensation claims on stools are disbursed. If the money is paid to the occupant of the stool and he uses for his personal self to purchase houses are appropriate for himself, Nobody questions the chief about how he uses the money. If it goes through the administrator of two lands, it is arranged in such a way that the stool will have a share to cater for the stool as the occupant. The traditional area will have a share to cater for the uh, sub-chiefs who are also part of the land. Then the community share will go to that, uh, this administration for development within the community. That's how the community benefits. But if it is paid to the chief occupant because he says it's reinstatement. I mean, what is reinstatement? He has lost the land because he has lost the rentals, the future rentals. And if the land were to be there and rents were being paid, as for the rents, they go through the stool land. So why should the bulk sum, which is the loss of the future rentals, go to an individual? My Lord, I have you, a, you get the point. No, I get your point. Uh, but I have a, a difficulty also with that payment to the, to the individual which I think should not be the case. Yes. A way should be found to pay to the community. And the way but is the uh, constitutional provision 267. For the community to benefit, it has to pass through a process. That's why they say all payments to students. All payments. There is no exception. Sitting continues on the 24th of June, 2014.